I want to go back to bed. It's too early to get up. Uh, I have three games. I have to come home, figure out how to do all the barbecue, and make sure everybody gets out of here early enough so that they can have a good restful sleep and then get up for their jobs in the morning. My battle damaged Contigo. There are no, like, well, I found a, a paint chip left. All the paint has rubbed off my Contigo. It is the best though for like the lid. Fits my mouth just right. I wanna go back to bed. I get that. I'm gonna go back to bed. This is going to be a two Darth Vader butter pats day. I like to put my butter um, in the molds. Let me see one of those. Darth Vader. Darth Vader. Are you? <laughs> Breakfast. Breakfast of champions. It's not salted. Oh, well, I'm sorry. You want me to put some salt on it? No. I was trying to get rid of the unsalted butter. Uh -huh. Because. <laughs> I wasn't expecting unsalted. I'm not. Unsalted butter. I wasn't expecting it. Because we never buy unsalted butter. No. Ever. We just did it for the Great Butter Showdown. Well, and I think we had one pack that we had bought for, we were testing like keto chow at one point and wanted to see like, is there a difference when you use salted and unsalted? And there is. But not I for like the best. I like salted. Not for the good. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So it's Sunday morning, it's just about seven o'clock and I wanna go back to bed. Aw. But I can't go back to no bed. No going back to bed. Because I need to go edit yesterday's vlog before I head out the door by nine o'clock to go work three football games. And I have three services at church before I come home and we have a barbecue with a family. Are you coming straight home? Yeah. Or are you unless hanging you need... out for a while? No. Well, I... because I don't know what time I'm going to be home. I, I mean, if all goes well, I should be done by 2.30. But I can't tell you the last time a Saturday all went well. And being done by 2.30, I should be home by Three. But then I gotta go start the barbecue, which is like another 30 minutes. And... Well, what I ask of you, mm -hmm. editing Joe, is that um, on your last game, like your second to last game, mm -hmm. that you that you let us know where you're at time-wise and, and where you think it's going to fall then. And yeah. then after your well, last way, game. everybody can be prepared to eat. But and, I'm sure right. that nobody's, we're not going to have, you don't want to have everybody wait to come here until then. So. No. But Rachel's also the greatest entertainer in the world. Like... Should I get I'm my gonna, tap dancing shoes out? Oh, I'm going to come home and there's just going to be this beautiful spread of like extra stuff because oh. you're so good at that. Well, thank you. Mental <laughs> notes. Grab stuff for spread on way home. Uh, How is everybody doing? I, I mean, I'm tired. I don't know why I'm tired because I feel like I don't even know what movie we tried to watch again last night. We finished My we, Mom's New Boyfriend. Yeah. That was cute. What did you think about the shock at the end? I was truly shocked. I was truly surprised. Yeah, because I actually did see the end the night before, 
Thanks and, for not spoiling and it. And you had fallen asleep, and I was just going, oh, wait till she sees the, the, the plot twist at the end. It was good. It was cute. So, it's an older movie with Antonio Banderas and Meg Ryan. I feel like we put something else on, but I don't even remember what it is. What was the funniest part of that was Colin Hanks was in the movie with Meg Ryan, who's Tom Hanks' son. Yeah. So it was kind of weird because it's like, that's her son in the movie. And I'm like, possible, because Sleepless in Seattle and Joe versus the Volcano. <laughs> right? Like, that could be her kid. Uh, yeah, so, um, I don't know. I just, I, I think, I think I just finally caught up on the sleep that I needed. Good. But I feel amazing. I really feel like I'm slimming down. I don't know what the scale says, but I feel like I'm slimming down. All my clothes are looser. What about you? My clothes are, seemed looser, especially yesterday. I'm, I'm kind of wearing something you look baggy much today, but, thinner. but I, I feel good. And I think the real takeaway is I feel good, my clothes fit, and I'm eating good food that mm. I'm enjoying at any time of the day. Yeah. So, you know, usually when I went to go get some pork rinds yesterday, you know, I, I logged it mm. because we're doing that. We're, we're letting you know everything that we're having. Normally I would have been like, Rachel, loser, why are you eating a snack? Right. You don't snack, we don't snack. Um, but I didn't feel guilty, right? Because and you're not I don't feeling guilty to. about using like the butter mayonnaise. Where in the past you're like, you would say like, is this okay to have? Yeah, you know. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't be putting it on liberally either. No. I would have a dipping cup, right? And then all of that, everything I would would come from the dipping cup, right? Never from the the main bowl, right? Yeah, I I really feel good about it. I think that. Having a couple meals, having that early meal definitely helped. This week, I want to try to even eat more meals. I okay. want Instead of trying to do two, depends on the schedule. That's the biggest thing for us is the schedule, which is why people are like, well, why do you do keto chow? Do you it's, see our schedule? Right. It's pretty and convenient. So like a Sunday is a, a big keto chow day for us because we never get an opportunity to eat till four o'clock in the afternoon on Sunday. Never. And what ends up happening is we end up omatting it. And then we end up either under eating or not eating the right things. And I think that's the biggest problem with OMAD. The biggest problem with OMAD is you end up under eating, which sounds crazy, weird and crazy. But yeah, if, if you need to get, say, 120 grams of protein, which is very filling, that can be difficult on an OMAD. And, and this isn't even just a calorie issue. It's your body needs some nutrients. It needs protein and if you can't get that in and you're only eating one meal a day and especially long term even if you're looking at a calorie thing if you're going to say well my body needs like 1800 calories a day that's difficult in an OMAD yeah and so what ends up happening is you end up eating 1200 calories and over the long term of doing that we slow down our metabolism. Well, and the protein's always sacrificed. Yeah. So I, you know, even in an OMAD, I can get all of my total carbs in for the day. No problem. A lot That's of times easy. I can get the fat in, mm -hmm. but I can't get the protein in. Mm -hmm. And my body needs the protein, you yeah. know? And then if I don't get protein in, then I'm going to be complaining about how I feel. And I'm going to be complaining about my hair loss and my skin issues and my nails and all of those things. But I've got to you know, put the priority on the protein. And eating more than one meal, like, you know, two, or even knowing that we can snack, if we just haven't even had time to snack, um, it brings it back to what Kim Howerton said of, I don't feel like I'm on a diet. It's nice. Right? I don't feel like I'm trying to lose weight. And more and more, I'm okay with saying like, oh, okay, I can't have it. I mean, we were at our game yesterday and during one of the lightning delays, Somebody offered me like a, a Propel Zero or whatever and I made a comment and it sparked a conversation with somebody else who she's like, oh, that's a really interesting way to eat. She did say that there are such things as essential carbs where I had to politely correct her, but she was very interested in what I said. But I have a drawer full of high key cookies that came in autumn swag bag. Uh -huh. It's the one thing I saved because high key cookies and they're the new vanilla wafer ones. The first couple days I was opening up that drawer gone. Is it getting easier now? Uh, I Yesterday I was thumbing through it and it doesn't even bother me. So Yeah, I, I definitely missed my Zip Fizz for the first couple of days. Mm -hmm. Now it's just kind of like, no, that's 
that's not what we're we're eating. <laughs> we're since, drinking. Since I don't have any coffee, you're gonna stop and short Wawa or get some at church. I took two muscle recovery church. and I took two energy boosts this morning because my calves are hurting and, and they're all stiffened up and I need some energy. <laughs> Glad that they're here. Okay. Well, not going to be probably much of a vlog today. Probably just like, here's what you're eating. Yeah. Um, but we'll see you guys later. Okay, so I got to get going, but I've got all of the grills set up. We've got some charcoal in the little Joe. And then over here, we've got our big Joe. And uh, let's see. We've got that one all set up. Uh, the smoker, I don't know what we're gonna cook yet. I don't think we're gonna have enough time. If anything, I may put some of the chicken on for Michelle and also, depending on my time, make some bacon wrap steak. But right now, I've gotta get going. Come on, Tabitha. Well, this is a bad angle. So I'm on my way. We didn't have time for breakfast. I didn't even have time to make coffee. So I'm gonna eat a little bit of butter. Um, this is that Parma butter that we had in the Great Butter Showdown. It's really, really flavorful. I enjoyed this butter. A bit expensive, um, but if you're gonna eat it like this or if you're gonna put it on a nice steak, it's it's worth it. Not so much for like adding into a recipe because you really want to enjoy all the flavor of it. So it's 2.45. We're about 15 minutes late because they started 10 minutes late. And then we had a couple of injuries and things like that, but I'm out of here. It was really hot out here. They didn't have any like extra water for us. We had to keep going looking for it. So I'm gonna get in the car. I'm gonna shoot a bunch of keto chow electrolyte drops in my mouth. Get home and start the barbecue. Best part about starting the Kamado Grill. How was church? It was great. Um, but I couldn't wait to get home. Honestly, I'm not usually like that. I, I enjoy services, but like my babies are coming home. All the ducklings under one roof. I got a little bit of sun. It'll yeah. be tan tomorrow though. So now we are playing in the pool with okay. Jenny and Tabitha. And first up is this pork, the shredded pork. That yeah, we, we get that from Sam's Club, I think. It's actually really good. It's awesome. I'll put a picture of it. It's super clean. It's literally just pork. There's like not a bunch of preservatives. We can eat that, yeah. so long as we don't put barbecue sauce on it. Yeah, I'm not gonna put any barbecue sauce on it, but I am gonna put some of those Wahlburger pickles out for the kids because yeah. those whoa, pickles- Whoa, 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 don't give away my pickles. Those pickles are awesome. I know that, that's why we shouldn't be giving them away. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna jump in the shower- Please do. After I go find my wallet in my car. And then we've got burgers, some bacon, and some sausages. Bacon wrap steak. Bacon wrap steak. Okay, meat's ready to go. We've got a couple of chicken breasts from Michelle. Redmond Organic Season Salt. We've got a bunch of salt and pepper and stuff on our burgers. And we got a little bacon we're gonna put on the Blackstone. And to protect my shirt, I've got my new apron that my wife bought me. Becoming a vegetarian is a huge mistake. I wonder how many complaints we're gonna get about this. But I like it. Pull it up in the front. There you go. I just wish it had pockets. Burgers, we're gonna go hot and fast. How long will it take for them to cook? A couple minutes each side. <laughs> Looks good. We've been rolling out different meats and Anthony's saving himself for a hamburger. We're gonna put a couple on the soapstone too. I promise I'm not this sunburnt. It's just, I had the grill up at 780 degrees and it's hot in front of there. Yeah. So we're having oh, a I burger, bacon. we're having some bacon, an egg, shredded pork. We have bacon wrap steak on the grill. Which I love. We're gonna put some of our butter mayonnaise on this. And this is just where we're starting. This is not the only thing we're eating. We also have a steak for when the kids leave. Yes. I need electrolytes. Ugh. <laughs> uh, it was weird. 
because on the football field today, I'm so used to, at halftime, give me a bottle of water, take a Redmond, put it in there. Can't do it. And I couldn't do that. I mean, I could have, but I really was trying hard not to. One of the guys I'm working with, he's like, got to keep drinking water. I'm like, drinking water is not how you stay hydrated. Hydration, if you didn't know this, has nothing to do with water and has everything to do with sodium and electrolytes. Because when you sweat, you don't sweat water. No. You sweat salt. Right. If, if you've ever tried to wash Joe's hats, you know this to be true. Which my other white one needs to be washed. They they turn, we had that one that was green, but, but then it Tabitha- It turns white. But that Tabitha chewed it up. I was wondering what happened to it. Yeah. I have a second one. But... I know. She she totally was chewing on the brim. I don't I don't know why she was doing that, but <laughs> salt. Yeah, salt. Probably she thought it was a salt lake because I was gonna run it um through the wash a second time because mm-hmm. it was a hunter green hat and it was just covered in that white was a salt. Three thousand dollar hat. Because you had to buy equipment to get it. <laughs> Not because the hat was three thousand. Now, so what happened was, so I was just drinking straight water. I drank a bunch of electrolytes and I had some of the Relight pills this morning. By drinking electrolytes, I had Redmond, uh, Redmond uh, Keto Chill electrolyte drops. And um, during the games, I was just drinking bottled water. By the third game, I literally could feel my side cramping. Right. And then I was like, I can feel that like I was drinking, flushing out the electrolytes. with, And of course, because... I wasn't going to the bathroom. Yeah. Like, I just went to the restroom now at 7.30. That's the first time since 10 a.m. That's not good. And I probably drank six bottles of water, and I've had four of these since I've been home. So it's not a case if you're not drinking your water. I'm drinking lots of water. But yeah. But I, I need to rehydrate because, again, salt. So, yeah. Um, I'm full. I am beyond full I noticed that for me, I have a really hard time with shredded pork. I don't know why bacon is fine. I know you know that, yet you Every insist time. on eating it. I do. I don't know why I do that to myself. Like, does anybody else have no problem with bacon and yet problems with shredded pork? It just does not like me. Shredded beef, completely fine. You know, you want a pot roast type of situation? Like, we're good. Yeah. Shredded pork does not like me. So we ate... Like, I ate a half pound burger, a bunch of those bacon wrapped steaks. Me too. Um, I ate some of the shredded pork. I had the egg. I had bacon. And I, I'm really stuffed. And I shouldn't be because we didn't eat that much. What about you? I had everything you saw on my plate. And then I ate a couple of pieces of bacon. Mm-hmm. And yeah. but I, I But I'm like, I'm very full you're very full yeah so one of the things we're finding is and it's something that we've talked to dr barry about is when you're eating carnivore especially like sometimes it may not be in your best interest to do intermittent fasting especially if you don't need to lose like 150 pounds because it's one of the problems with an omad is it's really hard to get all of your nutrition in especially if you're eating carnivore if you're eating a lot of meat that's high in protein and protein is super filling and satiating, you're better off dividing that up. And I've seen some comments from people saying they're really worried that we're forcing ourselves to eat, which we're not. What it is, is you've got to realize that even for the last three to four years, we've eaten one to two meals a day, but we are used to giant plates of food. So we still have this mentality of you have to have a giant plate of food, but we're forgetting that giant plate of food now is all meat. Yeah, it's not a giant plate of food that has cauliflower rice and lettuce, lettuce you know, broccoli. on it. Yeah, there, there, there's no asparagus, mm-hmm. that sort of thing. It's all meat, and it is just like action packed. Yeah. So if you do all of the nutrition macros on like some of our meals if you're in like, wow, I'm only eating about 90 grams of protein. That's why. And then what's happening is, is we're waiting till late in the day. But a lot of that for us is schedule. So we right. are trying to eat a couple times. Sundays is just a difficult day. Yeah. Because like if I'm leaving the house at 6 AM and I am going hard until two thirty, mm-hmm. you know, before I even come home, right. 
then then you make your your meal and and eat it and by the time you know you're getting to your food for the day it's like four or five o'clock but there's no way during sunday yeah. that i can even there, stop to eat no that's and that's just how our sundays are which is why Usually on Sundays, we start our day with a keto chow. I got bit on my way to church, like, because we have a parking situation, mm -hmm. because they're expanding the building, so we have to park in, like, a neighboring place, and it is covered with trees that have little those little crab spiders in them. Not deadly, but annoying. Right. I got bit in the boob by a spider. Didn't even buy me dinner. <sighs> like, just... Bit me and, and and so all day I've been like weirdly scratching myself. Wow, it's super annoying. So TMI, <laughs> but like I in case in a in a video this week I'm like weirdly scratching myself. That's why, cause spider. So tomorrow morning we're getting up and going getting some labs done. Yes, we're a week late, but it's the first time we can get in there to get the labs done. But we're curious, like, where are all of our numbers at for the labs? And then we're going to do it again when we get home from Vegas. Yeah. So I'm excited about that. So I'm pretty much going to be fasted for the rest of the night anyway because we're doing our labs. And then when we get home, we will eat some eggs and stuff. I'm excited to see the results. Okay. Well, that is going to be the end of day eight, I think this is. I think it's day eight. Seven, eight. I don't even know anymore. I've lost track. Today. Whatever today is. Today is Sunday, so I think it is technically day eight, because we started on a Sunday. Okay. Right? So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Wait, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah, Saturday will be seven days. So okay. Sunday is the new week. I can count. Great job. <laughs> Let us know how you're doing on the challenge. Uh, this week, one of the things that we were going to try to add in, not that we're doing more of a challenge, but we're going to try to keep track of how much we spend on each day. Yeah. So you will see in day seven, we spent $300 in Sam's Club, which was like, <gasps> on, but beef's getting expensive. But on average, we're eating like five to six dollars of food a day. I mean, we're we're treating ourselves some steaks. We don't, you can see, normally eat steak. No. You know, and even when you get a brisket, okay, you pay fifty dollars for a brisket. It's anywhere between three to five dollars a pound. But we ate on we it got all week that, long. There's actually still a little bit left, but we got at least three days of meals Times out of two. that brisket. Six meals out of it. Yeah. So. You know, that kind of stuff, that's why we do tend to go to cheaper cuts of meat. And like you say in the video, like, is it our anniversary that we're having a ribeye? Because it's not normal for us to eat a $20 steak. No, it's not. And even when we did, like, the bacon wrap steaks this week, they were... Yeah, it's bottom round or top round. Yeah, it's Like, you know, $4 a pound and wrap it with a piece of bacon. Right. And those things, they look small, but they're super filling. They are. So. If you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm going to put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time. Bye. Bye.